Kelly joins the dozens of Democrats who are also calling for the 25th Amendment to be invoked, including my next guest, Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Dingell of Michigan. Congresswoman, thanks so much uh, for being here. We appreciate you getting up early after what has been a really uh, difficult set of days uh, with some very long nights. Um, it, let's talk about where things stand in terms of the 25th Amendment. What are you hearing uh, behind the scenes on Capitol Hill, especially from, I know you have good relationships with your Republican colleagues. Does the president still have support from them in Congress? Well, I think that as we saw what ha happened even after the violence at the Capitol, there are a significant number of uh, Republicans that are still supporting him. At the same time, there are also a surprisingly broad section of Republicans from members of the Freedom Caucus to more moderate Republicans who are deeply disturbed by what's happened. I believe he, I mean, even uh, yesterday, Ted Cruz said he bears some responsibility for what happened. Uh, and they are concerned about the damage that can be done in the next 12 days now uh, that we are down to. I, I think the question is, how do you hold this president accountable for his actions? How do you keep any real damage? And there's still 12 days. There's significant damage that can still occur in those 12 days. And uh, how do you bring the country together at the same time? I think Democrats are at a point that, uh, it, that something's got to happen. So what's the plan uh, in the event we don't see uh, uh, Mike Pence uh, signal a willingness and, and, and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi both said publicly they tried to reach Pence, they didn't, so they went out and they said this in public in front of all the cameras. Uh, Pelosi said, we expect to hear from him by the end of the day. We haven't really gotten a clear answer one way or the other. So if Pence declines uh, in some way, sends a signal he's declining to invoke the 25th Amendment, what, what will you Democrats in the House do then? Well, Casey, I think we kind of got that signal last night when people were reporting that he did not think that that was uh, the way that we should go. And you've seen two women members of the cabinet resign in the last 24 hours. Uh, I think their contribution to history could have been made in a different way. But I don't think the 25th Amendment is looking as real as many people. And I do know that there are public members that uh, thought that that was the way to go. I think that Democrats are going to move forward with another impeachment because they do believe that he must be held accountable for his actions that triggered, contributed, encouraged, inflamed what happened at the largest symbol of democracy in this country two days ago. Wow, that's um, that sounds pretty uh, newsworthy to me. What do you think that that looks like? I mean, is the House going to be called back to Washington? Uh, do you expect articles would be introduced quickly and passed? I mean, the time is of the essence. I think you'll see it's not a decision one person makes. Our, our leadership is there. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are talking. I'm not saying that this is a totally done decision, but now there are more than 200 members sure. in the House and Senate that believes that something must happen. There will be a Democratic caucus meeting today at noon. Members will express their opinions. Uh, but I think that there is a great deal of discussion. I have talked to multiple, multiple members. Uh, and uh, I, I, I think that that is the direction that we are headed. Now, there's one week left. There are nine days left uh, on Monday. So, you know, the House can move quickly and and uh, move it again. But then the question is, can the Senate hold uh, a trial that quickly? I think that the real question, right. I will be very, and very honest, is how do we minimize any further damage for the remaining days in this administration? And what you saw in the Capitol is one of the consequences, but there are a lot of other things that can happen and that we all, and I'm going to say this to my Republican colleagues and to the members of the cabinet and to Vice President Pence, you have responsibility to this country to make sure there is no further damage to this democracy. Yeah. So uh, do you think, I mean, what is Chuck Schumer saying behind the scenes about whether there may be support among Senate Republicans to actually vote to impeach? Um, I have talked to a lot of Republicans. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I don't think that you're going to see a significant am amount of Republican support uh, for impeachment. But that doesn't mean, you know, the dynamics are moving very, very quickly. Uh, you, you are, yeah. uh, it, I mean, you're seeing all of this. And by the way, I want to uh, say 
that as you're talking about security at the Capitol and how did this happen, there are really very conflicting reports. Uh, that even if you look at what Larry Hogan said yesterday about his wanting to send the National Guard, but he wasn't being authorized, we need the facts. We need the truth. How the hell did this happen in the United States of America? And people need to be held accountable. And there are conflicting facts. And people like me need to know the real facts. Yeah. Well, and you all are, are in, in power to, to find out, and we obviously will be uh, paying very close attention. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, uh, thank you very much for an always illuminating conversation. I really appreciate uh, your candidness with us today. Thanks for getting up early. And early